Hello and welcome to a brand new FIFA Myths. I've waited two months to say that, guys. Apologies, sorry, on the delay for the new videos on FIFA Myths. We've been very busy here, guys. We have our amazing baby on the way soon, and we've just moved house, so it's all been going on. I've still managed to keep the daily uploads going, but yeah, it's been kind of busy. Anyway, can you get 99 icon moments Pele in a free pack from EA? and so much more. It's impossible to pack the exact same icon in two FIFA packs in a row. We are back here guys with FIFA Myths episode number 3474 with something unbelievably rare to possibly achieve. We're going to find that out now. However, this guy packs the legend himself and maybe the icon himself in Fabio Cannavaro with his moments card. Very, very rare player to get in the game. Probably not the most desired icon. You'd always probably prefer someone like maybe Rio Ferdinand, a centre-back, Sol Campbell, Maldini to an extent, maybe even Komen with all those overall stats. But overall, you know, that is still a very good and rare icon moments card to pack. As you can see, that is the rare mega pack, guys. He did open, and I believe that is also a tradable pack so no matter what he got there that is a tradable pack now i want you guys to focus and pay attention specifically to this video right now like this is unbelievable so he does store the pack there the rest of the items got the club he goes straight onto the store again remember he did start off with four rare mega packs now he's got three so we got an icon moment in the first one what is he about to get again he gets a walk out he gets an icon he's italian he's a center back and it's going to be icon moment, Fabio Cannavaro again. This is actually unbelievable. Probably the rarest ever FIFA packs back to back in Ultimate Team history, guys. This is actually kind of ridiculous to get two of the same icons in a row. Not only that, like the exact same player, the exact same moment card and back to back. He's duplicate. This is insane. It's a FIFA myth. There isn't a new squad battles glitch in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Amazingly, and hopefully this helps you guys out, there is actually a brand new squad battles glitch that's been found by the FIFA community. So the way you do this, guys, is by running down the line, sprint back down the line, and hold LT. And as soon as the player touches your player, let go of the LT button. And just like that, you're done. It's very easy to do. Hopefully this helps you out, guys, with all the objective cards and the grinding of icon swaps and squad battles in the game. And yeah, I think this is brilliant to be fair. Leave a like if you want to see more glitches like this. No player in FIFA 21 has 99 pace on four separate FIFA cards. So if you guys go to your current squad, this is my current team in FIFA, might look to add some players to this. However, we can have a look at which player has potentially got a card or four cards that could hit 99 pace, which is actually a ridiculous achievement, by the way. So the name is Alfonso Davis, and obviously plays a Bayern Munich, wonderful player. And he is the only player, I believe, in Ultimate Team who does have 99 pace on four separate cards. You have, I believe that's his inform card there, the 84. You've also then got the 88 rated Alfonso Davis there, which I believe is a UCL card which is a road to the final you've got this 91 rated foot champions foot davis card as well and then the 93 team of the year so incredible achievement there for afonso davis that might change soon with more cards coming out but still that is a phenomenal achievement by one of the fastest players in the game you can pack the same player in a double 86 plus upgrade pack in fifa 21 yes yes you can the captain of my team, Liverpool, stands proudly in this pack with, with himself, Jordan Henderson. Again, two different cards, same player, in 186 plus upgrade pack. The rarity is through the roof on this one. 99 Pele has been packed in a free token pack from EA Sports. Can you guys imagine for a second that you open an FGS token swaps pack from FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, right? You watch one of the A streams and you pack Neymar. And, and then you pack 99 rated icon moments, untradeable Pele. Literally the best player in the game. That really happened. It's true. 
Five Serie A teams will not be in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team with their full licenses. If you are a fan of the Italian Premier League, then you know full well that there are teams that have not got their full license in Ultimate Team in FIFA. So the main one obviously is one of the best and you know most famous Serie A teams, which is Juventus. They have lost their license to be in Ultimate Team with the full kit, with the badge as well. However, I would say, I do think yeah, he did a very good job with the badge and even the kits in-game. I feel like people have kind of forgot about this whole kind of fiasco that happened a few years ago in FIFA where Juve lost the license in FIFA, well, EA lost Juventus' license in the game. However, if you are a fan of Napoli, they would not be in Ultimate Team like they normally are with their badge and full license, the same as Juventus. Also, there are other teams such as Lazio. They as well, guys, will be exclusively signed to Pro Evolution Soccer, just like Juventus and Napoli. Also, there are rival guys at Roma who have already been signed for, I think, a year now. They will be on pairs again. And there is another new team from Serie A, a good team, that finished, I believe, third in Serie A this season. It's Atalanta. They as well will lose their license on Ultimate Team on FIFA and in FIFA in general. Again, five teams, guys, will be going from FIFA to pairs in a pretty big deal that Konami have secured. Theo Hernandez's stats are incorrect on his team of the season card. If you load up FIFA Ultimate Team and have a look specifically at a left back by the name of Theo Hernandez, I think I got very lucky in packing this card. Bit of a club tour here, guys. Didn't say FIFA myth there. But as you can see, here is Theo Hernandez with his card 99 pace and overall a really fantastic new ultimate team card for you guys to use in your squad however if you go over to his attribute details and then you do something that is yeah in my opinion not the most exciting thing in the world but if you go on to the physical attributes right you can see he's got 90 physical but even from a brief glance you can tell that you know what something is up here right something here is kind of odd so if you add up the amount of stats he does have for his physical attributes, so 72 plus 91 plus 91 plus 89, you get the answer, which is 343. Then, to work out the average physical stat he should now have overall, you simply divide by how many stats there are within the physical section. So, you divide by 4, and you will get the answer that is actually 85.75. So, on average, Theo Hernandez, if you want to round it to the nearest, I guess, number there, would be 86. So he should have 86 physical in Ultimate Team. Bit of a weird one, that one, and I believe there might be more cards like that. The only reason I can see why EA have done that is maybe they consider strength to have more of an maybe overall impact than maybe jumping, for example. So a bit of a strange one there, but again, this guy should have 86 physical, maybe even 85. Bit of a weird one, but that is um, that is what is in Ultimate Team. Very strange. No 64 rated bronze player has better finishing than an 84 rated gold forward. What is so special about this guy called Ara? What is so special about this Spanish centre midfielder. Well, if you go on his card, I mean, if you ignore the fact he's got like 49 sprint speed, he's actually got decent finishing for a 64 rated bronze rare card with 66 finishing overall as his stat. However, there is surprisingly a gold forward who is a rare player, obviously. He is also a Brazilian player and I believe he is a left mid in this game and this man genuinely guys has worse finishing than a 64 rated player in ultimate team douglas costa who i think just transferred to a team in brazil and i think he also watches the twitch streams guys every now and then cool guy very cool guy anyway he does unfortunately guys have worse finishing than a 64 rated bronze Spanish player in Ultimate Team. Hope you guys love the brand new myths. Please leave a like to support the videos and subscribe for more content like this. What myths have you got on FIFA Ultimate Team? And in FIFA in general, maybe we can do a retro myth soon. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe a trade-off a stream. That'd be really cool as well. Have a special day and have a good one.